guys, what is going on? This is Carnival 5. In case you didn't notice, in the uh, opening lineup there, we finally do have pool holes. Have them in our lineup. We are facing Kershaw. Our creative guy leads off the game with a single off Kershaw. This is a very entertaining game. This is actually my third game with pool holes. The first two games, I didn't get a hit yet. I, I did draw one walk, but this is my third game with him. Spent uh, uh, all night doing the collection, just trying to get XP. I had enough tickets. I was just trying to grind for the last few levels. As that's his first AB there. I hit a little dribbler, so it's 0 for 1 for pull holes. I bat him third, right behind, or right in front of uh, A-Rod. And A-Rod gets jammed, breaks his bat, and Kershaw gets out of the inning. So no harm, no foul there in the first inning. Uh, scoreless. We have Felix Hernandez pitching for us, however. And I thought he pitched okay, but this was an amazing play, by the way. He's leading off Jackie Robinson. My opponent pretty much had like all the main collections done. He had Jackie, Stalker, A-Rod. All those guys, but uh, I thought Felix was pitching pretty well. It was just you guys will see. I thought he had some really, uh, some really tough luck this game. I was jamming it, jamming him pretty well with a sinker. Uh, he had a really late bat. I was getting a lot of weak contact, a lot of infield pop ups. Uh, I don't know for whatever reason, man. Sometimes I have these games where I, I'm getting the weak contact that I want, and they still find ways to score. Anyways, back to the top of the second, Cespedes. Rips a single up the middle. I'm killing with Cespedes, guys. I don't understand it. I'm hitting over 400 with him now, like up to 410. He might be my best player, like even better than A-Rod. I don't know. I just do so well with him. I, I can't take him out of the lineup, him and Edmonds both. We are playing Zobris this game, and he rips a single to right field, playing him against lefties. We also have Hanley at third against lefties, so now we're going to be platooning him with the Beltre since we already have Pulis at first. Uh, anyways, I got really lucky here. Um, yeah, Ichiro in the nine hole. Off Kershaw. Uh, I was just trying to pull something here. He threw me a curveball. I was completely fooled. <laughs> and yeah, I got a really lucky hit there. I'm not going to lie. I'll be the first one to admit. But this uh, definitely started a little rally. Here my creative guy hits an inf gets an infield single with his speed. As you can see, I got a lot of speed on my team now. I got the created guy, Ichiro, and Hanley all back to back. So I was making things happen here the first few innings. Hanley rips a single up the middle, and again, just speed is killing right now. I'm getting really fortunate hits, so I'll take it. I feel like I haven't had those in a while. He makes a mistake there. He should have threw home, and I scored off the uh, infield single from Hanley. Now we have Albert up, and I'll just let you guys listen to the clip. He shoots this one toward the right field corner. That's a fair ball. So we finally get our first hit with Albert. He rips a double down the right field line, and that's going to score two. And we go up five to nothing. Really good hit by Albert. Uh, I will say this. The one thing I'm not liking about Albert is he has a shift on. It's kind of driving me nuts. Um, I'm going to try to find a way to to beat it, though, as we uh, tie up our opponent with a high, high end fastball there to strike him out. But I'm definitely going to find a way to work around it. It's one reason I didn't like the Jose Bautista card too much. That shift was so annoying, especially with the dead pull righty. And I, that's usually what I try to do with a right-handed hitter. I try to have a quick bat. Um, he gets a hit there with, I think that was Maurer up the middle. We have two on, one, two count. I try to throw a sinker in on the hands. He was really late. I felt like I was getting really weak contact. I go right back to the sinker in on the hands. It's a really good pitch. Break his bat. I wish he would have hit it a little bit harder so I could have turned a double play, but Hanley makes a fine play. And next he has Kershaw up. So I was like, all right, sweet. Is he going to take him out? No, he's going to leave him in the hit. I was like, thank goodness. This is, should be an easy out. Try to throw a sinker by him right here. Bruh. And yes, he made me pay. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I can't even explain that. Kershaw really saved this guy, not hitting wise, not pitching wise. Anyways, the next inning. Or no, he still had a. This is excuse me. This is still the same inning. That was another sinker high and end to Jackie Robinson. He kind of fights it off, hits the hits the gap for a double. So at this point, like I said, I I was still confident in Felix. I felt like I was pitching well. He had a couple jam, jammed hits. The hit he had with Kershaw was a really good hit though, but a couple others were jammed. Here we blow the sinker right by him to get a strikeout. Like I said, the fastball and sinker was working really well. And the sinker was doing a really good job against Rezzy Stalker as well. This, my opponent had a slow bat. As you can see there, he gets really weak contact. So I could tell the sinker was definitely getting to him. So I really want to try to push Felix, you know, at least five or six innings. Because he wasn't, he's was pitching well in my opinion. He just gave up a few unlucky hits. We get a full count on A-Rod. And this is what I'm talking about with just the bad luck I had this game of Felix. Bruh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how those go out. Like, Those should never go out. It's an up and in sinker. He has terrible contact on it. What does he have, a yellow? I mean, come on, that should never go out. But it is what it is, so it's now 5-4. to four. And our 5 to nothing lead is slowly evaporated. My creative guy 
again, single up the middle. Kershaw, I, I wasn't really struggling hitting him at all. I mean, Kershaw's okay, but it's, he doesn't have the fastball to blow by you. There we get a really good pitch to hit and a line out to end the inning. So I had my chances there. I had a few line outs early on the game, but that's okay. And I decided to take Felix out just because this guy's lineup was really reliant on facing right-handed pitching. I went with my boy Chapman. My bullpen's been well rested. I mean, I haven't even used him in like five or six games. So I did a double switch to Chapman. It, ma it made perfect sense because I put Beltray at third. And went ahead and took Hanley out. Because Hanley did mess up on one play, too, that he should have got to, in my opinion. But here we have an 0-2 count on Kershaw. Bruh. And he crushes it. I can't even explain that. I missed my spot a little bit, but I don't... I, I've never seen that. I, that really surprised me. Lefty on lefty that he hit that. Like, he couldn't even hit Felix. But anyways, tie game now. So, A-Rod, a next inning, rips a single to left field. I just had a battle back. Another good hit by Frank here. Yeah, just some bad luck. I felt like I, I felt like that was gonna be gone as soon as I hit it, but it is what it is. Still five to five. Kershaw's hanging in there, and Kershaw's really carrying his team offensively. Here we have a runner on third. We swing under it a little bit. I thought this was gonna go out of play, but it stayed in. It's amazing that it stayed in with all the foul territory there in the Angel Stadium. I thought that had a chance to go out of play, but it didn't. We decided to go to our next best pitcher, or in my opinion, my favorite pitcher, Billy Wagner, out of the bullpen. And he really did a great job shutting down this guy's lineup. Throw a slider in on the hands there and ties him up. Had this guy pretty much guessing. Next batter, or next batter was Maurer. He was swinging real early in the count, Maurer. We get a weak dribbler to my catcher for an easy out. We're going to go ahead and go to the seventh inning here. He's going to bring in Batantis. Uh, we have pull, we have Pulse up again, 0-2 count. This was a really good AB in my opinion of Pulse. I was trying to protect against that inside fastball. He missed low there. He was throwing a lot of slurves and cutters, so I was kind of protecting the inside, but at the same time, I was somewhat expecting a, you know, a cutter or a slurve, so I wasn't going to give up on that inside pitch. There he threw a slurve. We're a little bit out in front. Actually, we're really early out in front, but we got the PC on it just enough to foul it off. Slurve misses low there, so we worked ourselves to a 2-2 count. And I really thought this was a good, I thought this was a good hit. Because I had a green swing on that. The PCI is pretty much on it. It was just out of the strike zone a little bit, so I can live with that. So, so far, Pulse only has the one hit. That's okay. We're going to the seventh. We got Herrera in. He blows a fastball by Bagwell. Like I said, this guy pretty much had all the collection players. And he really struggled against the fastball. There, we throw him a slider down and away. Zobras makes another great play. He made two great plays against Jackie. I was really surprised. I don't think Daniel Murphy or Carpenter would make those plays. So, I, I like having Zobras in there for defense at second. Cespedes rips another single up the middle. Like I said, guys, I kill it with Cespedes. I cannot explain it because I normally don't like shorter players. It's not He's not like a midget or anything, but I think he's 5'10". I normally don't like players like that. I've been hitting really well with Beltre lately, too, and this is a good AB. He gets to a 0-2 count. He's got the Palpabon in, and I'm not a big fan of the Palpabon card at all, guys. I just I don't think he's that tough to hit. I mean, it's a solid card. Don't get me wrong. He's got a good slider, and his splitter can be... I don't know. His splitter can get you sometimes, too. But we get to a 1-2 count here. Tries to blow a fastball by me. I fouled off. Next pitch, he tries to blow it. No, that was a splitter down and in, and Beltre uh, singles the left field. Eats her over right and deep and gone! Oh, Ichiro! Three run shot! That ball hit high and deep. Stretch! Stretch! Get on back there. They look up. You can put it on the board, yes! Like I said, Papelbon is not that tough to hit, so eventually took him out, brought in Andrew Miller. I decided to take Herrera out and pinch hit fielder. That ball hit high and deep. Stretch! Stretch! Get on back there. They look up. You can put it on the board, yes! And yeah, this gone. This game has gone away, uh, or gotten away from my opponent really quickly. But we do have Pulis up next. Let's see if we can get another hit with him. So far, we have the one double. Uh, I was kind of looking for a slider down and in or something at this point because I think he was he was flustered. I I did get the slider. I think then I just missed it. That's two dribblers. I have like three or four dribblers of pulls. So I don't know. I'm not hitting too great with him. I think I'll eventually hit well with him. I just I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm pressing or not, but. Moving on, we decided to go Zach Britton. We're up 10 to 5. He's got a few lefties up. I think he had A-Rod coming up who doesn't hit lefties as well. The third base, um, the flashback third base A-Rod. We jam him here with a sinker in. 
Thank goodness Beltray makes that play. I, I thought he was just going to drop it. I thought he was going to go into one of those BS animations. And he brings in Kimbrel, which I don't see very often. I don't think Kimbrel is that difficult to hit either. And I went ahead and brought Edmonds in for Frank here since he went to uh, some right-handed pitching. And I'll just let you guys listen to this next pitch. That ball hit high and deep. Stretch! Stretch! Get on back there. They look up. You can put it on the board. Yes! So it is now 11 to 5. <laughs> Pretty much got this game in the bag. We still got Britton going strong. He throws, a, he throws a slider in on the hands. It's time up. And then with two outs, he subbed in a lefty and I brought in, or he subbed in a righty and I brought in Palpable and then he brought in Cargo. We throw a splitter and we get him to chase. Nice little easy ground ball to A-Rod in the game. But this was a solid opponent. I think he was like 1850. Uh, he, he was a pretty good pitcher. He, he mixed it up really well with Kershaw. But nonetheless, we do come away with a win. Um, let me know if you guys like this type of style. I'm kind of enjoying the post game or the post commentaries a little bit more. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys like the video, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and sub. This is Carnal Number Five signing out. Peace.